LVL, also known as laminated veneer lumber, is a popular type of engineered wood product used in the construction industry. While LVL is made all around the world, the only producer of LVL in Australia is based in the country's west. I visited the factory to learn more about how the product is made. Hi, I'm Dennis Carlty. I'm the marketing manager and a director of Wesbeam. Wesbeam is the only singular LVL manufacturer in Australia and we make a full range of LVL products from formwork LVL through to commercial LVL and eye joists that are commonly used in residential floor frames. Being Australia's only manufacturer of LVL, we of course are dedicated to using local product. All of our product is sourced from plantations within 120 kilometres of our factory. We use a range of maritime pine, radiata pine and juvenile plantation carry. Upon arrival, the logs are cut into 2.7 metre lengths before being scanned for stray metal objects and sorted into different bins. When needed for production, these logs are transferred to the feedstock bin where they are then rolled onto the start of the production line. Each log is scanned by a computer to determine the largest possible recoverable volume of high strength fibre. The first step of LVL production involves the peeling of veneers from the log. The veneer peeling process utilises a lathe in which the log is rotated and peeled at the same time. This peeling process utilises all of the high strength wood from a tree, leaving the less stiff core to be processed into lower value products. With the veneer produced in a single continuous sheet, logs of most sizes can be used, again minimising waste. Once peeled, the veneer is cut into short segments for easier transport and processing. Each veneer sheet is scanned for moisture content and is sorted to streamline the following processes. At this stage, the veneers have a moisture content of up to 30%, making them flexible and soft to touch. Once sorted, the veneers are stored, ready for the next stage of production. When needed for the production of a specific thickness or strength grade, the wet veneers are transferred to the dryer. During the drying process, the moisture content of the veneer is reduced to approximately 6%. The veneers are reoriented on the production line and proceed through a series of ultrasonic sensors and various lasers to determine the strength, moisture content and physical properties of each veneer sheet. To make LVL, the right ingredients are selected and are fed into the production line. The selected veneers are run through a machine that cuts the two shorter edges at a mitre. These mitres bond together in a scarf joint, giving the final product a flat surface. Veneers that meet the required standard are then run under a glue curtain, which coats the top surface of the veneer with a stable, high-strength adhesive. Veneers that will form the outer layer of the LVL product bypass the glue curtain. The sheets are again scanned to ensure adequate glue coverage and are then laid up so they slightly overlap, creating one continuous billet. This process is highly automated to ensure the consistency of the final product. The billet is cold compressed to remove air pockets and to make sure the sheets adhere to each other. At this stage, the glue is still tacky and requires a final hot press to achieve structural adhesion. The billet is trimmed to remove uneven edges and enters the hot press where heat and pressure form a continuous structural bond throughout the product. As it leaves the press, the billet is scanned to ensure it meets strict specifications. Whether large format mass timber elements or slender studs, all LVL products are cut from this billet. Once cut, finished, packed and wrapped, these elements make their way around the country, fueling our construction industry. The largest market for Wesbeam's LVL is in the residential construction. Our product is used in roof beams, wall frames and in floor frames. LVL is used in roof trusses and as studs in wall frames and our eye joist is used commonly in floor frames, both in situ and the more rapidly emerging prefabricated floor cassettes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like below and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear when we release our next episode. Check out our other videos to learn more about wood, wood products and how to design and build with wood correctly or head on over to our website at www.woodsolutions.com.au. 
See you next time.